What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to 4 Strategy Gaming. It is good to be home, finally back from BlizzCon, and it's time to cast some StarCraft 2 commentary. We will be starting off today with a series between Aristio and ESC's Goody. We are on the map Crossfire. This is the first game in the series between these two players. Aristio spawning in the lower left-hand position as our uh, red Zerg player, and in the upper right hand we have got Goody as the purple Terran. So yeah, Yes, I am finally back from BlizzCon. Now I'm going to be trying things a little bit differently here. I do want to try without the health bars, and I want you guys to let me know if you prefer this as opposed to having health bars always showing during the commentaries. Um, you know, certainly during gameplay, it is very wise to always have health bars showing. But for a cinematic, from a cinematic standpoint, if you guys prefer me to simply do it without health bars during commentaries, well, just let me know in the comments below. All right, so again, this is game number one here on Crossfire. Taking a look, I, I, I want to say Crossfire every time I say it. Uh, taking a look right outside of the main base, of course, we've got that natural expansion. Uh, there is an entrance leading into that from this position, as well as an entrance from up over here. We've got two Zelnaga Towers in the center of the map, one located in that position, and then one right over here as well. And then, of course, it is uh, absolutely completely mirrored on the opposite side, um, as all StarCraft II maps are. ESC's Goody right now moving out with the SCV Scout. We also have a Drone Scout moving out for Aristio. Back over here for Aristio. Looks like he will be going with a 15 hatch. You can see moving right on down to that expansion. And there it goes. 15 hatchery being dropped right now. Overlord continuing to make his way across the map. He will likely be sitting somewhere over here for Aristio and eventually will be used for some sacrificial scouting. Back over here, the Drone Scout of Aristio moving into Goody's main base. We'll be trying to do a little bit of harass there. Unfortunately, not able to actually get up near that SCV. CV. Uh, that's going to force him to just move on in and continue to get some scouting. We can see Goody uh, finishing that wall off is going to force Aristio to actually lose that drone. Really nothing he can do about it at the moment. Now we may see him actually try to move forward with a gas deal. And yes, that is exactly what he's doing as a response to that. We can also see the orbital command coming on through right now for Goody. First Marine is out. Second Marine making its way on through. SCV Scout dancing back and forth. Very notable over here for Aristio. Just now getting that extractor. Uh, so he held off on that for quite a while. And you can see right now he is at around 16 supply. We've got that spawning pool getting very near finished. And again, going with that hatch first into pool and then following that up with an extractor. Now we have that SCV Scout making his way back on home. Wants to leave the base up until the point um, that he, you know, up until those first Zerglings come out, he can safely scout out, but decided to move out a little bit earlier. Now we can see right now Goody will be attacking the extractor. Aristio just keeps canceling it and rebuilding it. Let's see if he does that one more time here or if he's going to actually. There it is. Cancel. Not rebuilding. Actually moving down. Trying to get some scouting of how many SCVs were mining from that refinery. He did want to see if Goody had pulled any guys off of that refinery just to see if he was possibly going for a one rack in to expand. As we can see though, Goody has come out with that factory. Now let's take a look over here for Aristio. Did he scout the factory? No, but again, he did see those SCVs in this spot. He was just close enough to see the SCVs that were mining from that refinery and that gave him a pretty good indication as to what was going on. We have a second factory coming on up as well for Goody. So Goody opening up with two factories. Again, some Hellions also have that reactor coming on through. A couple Zergling Scouts moving forward towards the front of Goody's base. Uh, now Aristio will be using these to actually poke on up and just check the attachment there on the racks. He also wants to see when and if a factory does get dropped right there. And look at that. Also scouting out the bunker. This, of course, implies that Goody will be uh, going for some very hard one base play here at the beginning. Just trying to buy himself some time with that bunker. We do have that Hellion moving out, trying to catch up to those Zerglings. He should actually be able to get those free Zergling kills. Yes, it does look like Aristio will be losing this one Zergling and is in danger of losing that other one as well. And one more shot on that Zergling. And there it is, Zergling finally roasted. The second Zergling, though, where is he? He's actually hiding right over here. So Aristio trying to hold on to that Zergling for as long as possible. However, m managing to move at the exact wrong time. Uh, that Hellion grabbing the tower was able to scout out the Zergling, and now he'll be able to move on down and uh, be able to take him out before he actually gets much information at all. We can see the Zergling trying to dance up there, but uh-oh, Hellion checking back towards the main base and manages to miss the Zergling. So Zergling lives to see another day. I've got some roach opening over here, and actually a very strong roach push coming out from Aristio. Let's take a look. Yeah, total of three roaches. Never mind, not as strong as I, I almost thought he was going for seven roaches early on, and then massing up those speedlings. But actually, just starting out with three roaches to help contend with the Hellions of Goody. And yeah, he's actually going to be attempting to move forward and get a little bit of map control with that, managing to push that Hellion back. Back over here for Goody, we can see right now we'll be going with a Marine tank build. He's got that siege mode coming out. A siege tanks and building out of that uh, one factory there. 
Couple of Marines trying to take out that Overlord, unfortunately not managing to kill him completely. And back over here for Aristio, we can see he does have that layer tech coming on through. Uh, also going to be coming out with an, a couple of additional extractors allowing him to tech up in the not too distant future. Roach is probably going to want to head on home sometime soon. Uh, not going to be very strong, especially in such low numbers. Just used early on to push back those Hellions, as we saw Aristio do. Uh, but besides that, needs to be actually very careful about engaging. And actually, almost, ma almost managing to drop that Hellion down, getting him down to 21 hit points. Uh, but again, way too slow to actually be able to catch up to the Hellions. So, BlizzCon just took place. So exciting. Lots of new StarCraft 2 units. And I'm actually going to be doing a little summary video of that sometime soon. Um, but uh, I, I just can't wait. I cannot wait for Heart of the Swarm expansion. It's going to be awesome to see how the new units work into multiplayer play. As we can see right now, that was a that was a little bit of an aside there, but we can see right now, Goody is deciding to push on out right now. He's got Marine Tank Hellion. Now this is something that Aristu is going to be fully aware of, scouting it out with that Roach there. We can see he's got a Spine Crawler coming up. We've got a ton more Zerlins coming out as well as a few more Roaches. Uh, so Aristu doing what he can to prepare against this push. We've got a couple of flanking units prepared over here, also with control of that Zelnaga Tower. Uh, Aristu does see everything that Goody is moving forward with, so he knows exactly what's going on. Tank sieging up, will be able to shell out on that Spine Crawler. That Spine Crawler is in a bit of danger. Queen getting very low as well. In fact, almost taken out, and now it's dead. Queen, see you later. That was a huge miss micro there by Aristio. Not right, really sure why he decided to walk back into that. Definitely was a mistake indeed. We have got a uh, one bunker coming up here for Goody. So Goody setting up shop right outside of Aristio's natural expansion. This is a very dangerous situation. Now we've got a couple of uh, units getting uh, actually re uh, cut off there. Aristio managing to pull on down with a few units, but still Goody outside of Aristio's natural expansion doing tremendous amounts of damage. Uh, able to cut off reinforcements was fantastic by Aristio, but still he is in a very, very tough position right now. Moving this down quickly, we can see Goody's got a very good spot. He's got one bunker finished, the second bunker coming out. Aristio will be forced to stay just on the one base. Now he does have a few Zerglings as well as Roaches coming Coming out, and these roaches will be popping out on the low ground down here. A couple of zerglings in the mix as well. Actually, managing to take out that one hellion over there. Uh, this is not really looking good at all for Aristio, though. He has got so much to contend with when it comes to those bunkers and siege tanks. He just needs to save his units, wait until he's got enough to push, and then just move on in with everything from both directions. That's really his only chance right now. It does look like he will be losing this expansion, unfortunately. Uh, not a whole lot doing over here. Still just one roach over there, so not going to be able to cut off reinforcements like he did initially. And it does look like like that hatchery is just about to get dropped down. But here we go. Roach is finally pushing forward. Going right up on the siege tank. Just sniping them down instantly. Unbelievable there. Aristio managing to take down those tanks very quickly. Moving in when he had just enough roaches. Now he does lose that expansion. But it is time for a counter attack. No more marines in that bunker. That gets taken out. Aristio needs to counter push right now. We've got Goody attempting to prepare to move up into that natural expansion. Still just on the one base, only with two siege tanks right now. He does have a couple marines held up in this bunker over here, but here comes that heavy roach counterattack. We also do have a spire coming out over here for Aristio. Where is that? Spire's being built somewhere. I do not know precise. There it is. Spire's being built right over here. So we've got Aristio preparing to move on into that spire tech as uh, soon as possible. He's going to be very low on resources, so it will be hard to afford much, if any, mutilus. And Aristio does really need to try to counter. Probably too concerned right now, but the siege tanks that are going to be right out front of Goody's base. He needs to do something though. If nothing else, he should be attempting to stop this expansion from going down and that would actually be huge for him if he could do that. Now we can see a couple of tanks over here for Goody setting up on the high ground. You can see the range on those and they're going to be able to stop the roaches from doing too much damage. However, the roaches do still have back here in which they could stop SCVs from mining. Uh, so uh, Aristio does still have that opportunity to prevent Goody from being able to get any resources from that natural expansion at least for a few more minutes until Goody eventually mounts up enough of a force to be able to push out of his base. Um, Aristio should be able to harass a little bit. Just needs to stay back out of that tank fire. You can see those roaches getting absolutely uh, slammed there by the tanks. None of them actually dying, though, just because they are so hardy. But here we go. Hopefully we see them there. And the roaches, again, taking advantage of the backside of that resource line. And once more, we'll be able to stop any mining until Goody is able to push out of his base. He's not going to be able to mine from that expansion. We can hear him unseaging a tank there. We'll be trying to push forward with that. Should be doing a little bit of leapfrogging. I expect him to set him up right around this position within that concave down there. Uh, trying to be within the safety of the tanks on the high ground and then give him that extra range to be able to shout on the back. And there you go. That is exactly what he's doing. So Aristio will not be able to take advantage of the back part of that resource line for any longer. Back over here, we can see some Mutalists will be coming out. He has got three in production right now. Already six in play. And I do not know where those Mutas are. There 
there they are. So Aristio will be starting up with some harass here with those Mutalists. And the Marine number is relatively small, so he could manage to do quite a bit of damage. Aristio will be holding Goody right now into his natural expansion. Not able to push on out. And here come the Mutalists starting to harass right now. The SCV line of Goody's natural expansion. Marines trying to push forward. However, without any upgrades, very difficult for them to actually catch up to those Mutalists. Aristio has got a very strong opportunity right now to do lots and lots of damage. We can take a look. So far in this game, they are about even. I do want to take a look at the number of workers killed. Aristio managing to kill off 12 workers. Goody only killing off 9 workers, although he did kill that hatchery, so that is something to keep in mind as well. But these Mutalists are able to just do so much damage inside of the main and natural of Goody because, again, without those upgraded Marines, he's got a terrible time against them. Now, we do have one Thor just about to pop, uh, so those Mutalists are going to have to be careful at that point, especially about clumping up. And there's the Thor, the extra range as well. Now, showing his hand, Aristio does now know that the Thor is in play, so he knows to be wary of that. Just trying to do as much damage as possible. And to kill off a few more SCVs. Now a total of 21 workers killed for Aristio. Take a look. At the income tab, Aristio is ahead right now in terms of the number of workers, 46 drones as opposed to 29 SCVs. Aristio in a commanding position economically. He does also have that third expansion coming up. We do have those additional mutas over here, and I believe he might have actually harassed over there. Let's take another look at No, just, still just 21 workers killed, uh, so he didn't manage to get off any extra harass with those mutas, although he's still got some more over here. He's actually sitting right now on a total of nine, so he's still got a good opportunity to do a little bit more damage if he can just manage to sneak on in at at some point third expansion now up for Aristio and it's actually a little bit uh, a little bit uh, injured there I'm not sure what he got attacked with it may have been a drop I, I didn't miss that unfortunately my apologies for that but yes there was a little bit of damage that went down at this hatchery over here it looks like that roach took care of whatever it was maybe it's just one unit though back over here we can see the mutas now moving into that main base to try to do some damage to Thors though that's dangerous especially when those mutas start to clump up mutas need to be very careful not to get clumped uh, that's going to be a very very dangerous situation for them if they manage to get clumped up too close to both of those stores. Couple of Vikings moving forward as well. Trying to snipe down at Mutalus. Mutalus a little bit too quick. He does take out one but that is it and then the rest of them going to head on back home. Vikings now will start to do some Overlord hunting as well. Still got the roaches and speedlings over here. And what is the transition? We can see pathogen glands coming out. So we will be seeing roach heavy plus infester. Also a macro hatch sitting over here. We've got burrow research. The level one attack upgrades coming out as well for those roaches. We can see they are OO right now. And let's take a look at the upgrades over here for Goody. Nothing for his mech, nothing for his bio as well. And he's just actually moving into a Hellion. Ooh, Hellion tank, Marine, Viking, and Thor. And here comes another push from Goody. Goody preparing to push out again towards Aristio off of this strong two base play. He's getting ready to move. Roach is getting a little bit caught out of position. Managing to lose a few. He's going to be pulling back with those. We've got a couple of Roaches over here. Are they getting ready to flank? It looks like they might be hitting Goody as he continues to push across the map. He will be sitting idly with these Roaches right now and as soon as Goody gets further and further towards Aristio's base, he will then push up with those Roaches against that natural expansion. That is going to be very difficult for Goody. But the major question now is does Aristio have enough at his natural to be able to defend? And here we go. Roach is getting ready to push right now onto the natural expansion of Goody. At the same time, here comes Goody towards the natural expansion of Aristio, dropping down the scan. Roach is preparing to move right up into the main, and there's not enough here for Goody to actually defend against these Roaches, so these Roaches will be able to run rampant. We've got Goody over here, preparing to engage. Couple of fungal growths going down from those infestors, absolutely huge, doing devastating amounts of damage. That tank line so strong though, plus those stores, but those fungal growths doing a lot of damage there. We've got a couple of mutas preparing to move in as well. Back over here inside of the main base, Goody's getting demolished by these roaches. He's not going to have enough to do this, even when he gets reinforcements. It's not going to matter. A couple more roaches pushing forward. Goody does still have a few more remaining forces. Couple of uh, tanks there, plus those two Thors and a bunch of SCVs. But these roaches here for Aristio are going to continue to punish. Goody. Goody's main base, and even once Goody gets reinforcements, it is just not going to be enough. Now, we do have that one Banshee, but he's going to be taking heavy losses before he's able to do too much with that. We should be seeing some reinforcements pop up. We got a lot more Roaches coming out for Aristio. This is looking actually pretty good for Aristio. Goody cannot really push from this position anytime soon, and the Roaches are still going to town over here. Doesn't really matter that that one Banshee is there. The Roaches take so long to kill. We've got a couple of Thors in play now. Roaches will be pushing forward to take care of that at the same time. Lots of Roaches over here taking out a bunch of the tanks. Two Thors gone. He's only got two more tanks. Those are about to get taken out. And these Roaches still alive, still doing damage, finally pushing back. 
Goodies push, mopped up, and so much damage done by Aristio. They are now tied up, but I do not know. This is not looking good for Goody at all. They're tied up in terms of resources lost, but Goody is in a terrible, terrible position. Let's take a look here. 47 workers killed here for Aristio. The resource advantage in tremendously in Aristio's favor right now. Goody is so far behind. He's going to be forced to continue to rebuild his SCVs. He lost the uh, production building up front here as well. He's also still got this burning starport, and that's about to go down. Uh, Goody is just really not paying attention right now. Seeing another Roach push, and Aristio is about to seal the victory here. Really nothing that Goody is going to be able to do against that. Forced to come down now with a bunch of his SCVs. There's just way too many Roaches here. He's going to continue to push forward, taking out the tank, taking out that Thor, and Goody forced to call the GG. Great game number one here between Aristio and Goody, and certainly a good note to come back into my StarCraft 2 commentary with. Again, it's been a while since the last one. I'm so excited to be doing some more, though. Again, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed this first game. Game number two here between Aristio and Goody coming in just one moment. If you like the content, please subscribe, keep watching, and keep owning.